Hey guys, this is North back again with another video. Today's video is going to be about five great fragrance-free bars of soap that I picked up online. So stay tuned. Now this isn't a top five. This is just five brands that I picked up. There I'm sure are plenty of fragrance-free soaps that are out there, but these are the five that I've picked up. I think that they're all worth checking out. I don't think it really matters which one you buy. It just depends on your preference. Now, I picked up all of these soaps on a website called iHerb. They have an app as well. So living abroad, it's hard to get certain things. So Amazon, I do get things from Amazon, but they don't run the type of promotions that iHerb does. iHerb specializes in, in health. So they have supplements and soaps and shower gels and things like that about your health. So quarterly, they have different sales going on. They'll run 20% off sales, 15% off sales. So I got all of these bars of soap on a 20% off promotion. So I was able to check out more than I probably normally would, you know take it into account shipping. So let's get it going. The first one is from Heritage Store. I'm familiar with Heritage Store because I buy black seed oil from them. Hopefully you see that. So this is a castor oil soap. This one is, is pretty nice as well. Um, it, it seems like just so natural and things like that. When I first use it, it's a little bit rough. It's, it's like, it's not rough, but it's just not smooth on your skin, maybe because it's it's so natural, but this is a great one as well. All of these last about a week, you know, some a little bit less, some a little bit more. So that's the first one, Heritage Store. The next one that I picked up was Dr. Woods Mild Baby Soap. So this one's fragrance-free. All of these are fragrance-free, so I don't have to say that again. But this one is awesome as well. So Dr. Woods, I wasn't able to try Dr. Bronner's because iHerb doesn't carry it. And on Amazon, I think three bars of soap were around $17, which is ridiculous. So I wasn't gonna pay that. So the next best thing is Dr. Woods because they make uh, liquid Castile soap as well. So people that are familiar with making uh, or using, trying to use less products that have chemicals and things in them they're familiar with Dr. Bronner so this guy he does the same thing too I use his liquid soap so this is another one uh, Dr. Woods um, the next one this one came in a package of three and this is kiss my face olive oil soap uh, this one is this one is good as well the one thing that I don't like about this one is that it has um, well it's a green bar of soap so when I use my soap saver, which I'll show you in a little bit, um, you know, it kind of stains it. And that's one thing I don't like. The other thing is the smell. Now, all of them are fragrance free, so all of them have a smell to them, but I don't know if because the other ones are white that they bleach them and maybe that, that takes away from it. But this one has a smell which reminds me of raw cocoa butter or raw shea butter. It reminds me of that. It's a little, it's a little off-putting, not too much. I, I still like the soap. So that was Kiss My Face Olive Oil Soap. The next one is Kirk's. Kirk's since 1839. This is another um, bar of soap. So this one says 100% premium uh, coconut oil. This is a Castile soap as well. So this is one I was able to pick up along with the last one I'm going to show you that I was going to make this video earlier with the three that I had, but since I had a little delay, I was able to actually get these in and, and test them out. So I was able to try out Kirk. So that's another brand that you can uh, check out as well. This one says American Maze. And the last one is from Dead Sea Spa. And this is the Dead Sea Salt, uh, salt Soap. So this one is the biggest one out of all of them. So I would say this is the biggest. The next would be Kiss My Face and then the Dr. Woods. So again, they all last for the most part about a week. The smaller soaps are gonna last a uh, smaller amount of time. The reason why I wanted to use these um, soaps were for various reasons. One, I wanted to use fragrance-free materials so that I could uh, try to let my fragrance last longer. And two, I just 
and have really been into just using bars of soap when I bathe, as opposed to bathe and shower, as opposed to constantly buying bottles of shower gel and buying loofahs. So these are things that, as we know, can be harmful to the environment and they're just wasteful. So this cuts down on some waste. You may have to use more of them, meaning buy more of them. That's why it's good to get them on sale and get what's in your budget. Some of these range between $3 and $6 a bar. So it's always good to just check on sales. Anytime I see iHerb is running one of these promotions, I always pick up things from them. And the last thing I wanted to show you were the soap savers. So these soap savers are awesome because I use this for the little case that I keep my soap in. So I carry a little caddy, I take the caddy into the bathroom and I take the caddy out for the, every time I want to take a shower. But I also put it on my soap dish for my um, bars of hand soap. So once you put this on here, it's going to soak up everything. And I'd say even within a minute, if you look at the bar of soap, it's going to be completely dry, which means it's going to save your soap. You're not going to have to replace your soap as much as you normally would. So you always don't want to, if you're going to be using bars of soap, we don't want to leave it in the shower so that water is constantly pouring over it and, and wasting your soap. So this is one, uh, something that I think is a must have if you're going to switch to using bars of soap as well. This one I actually got from Amazon, but this is a great pickup too. So those are the five fragrance tree bars of soap that I picked up. My next video hopefully should be about how to make your fragrances last longer. So I've just been using some tips and I wanted to share them with you. I would have put them in this video, but I wanted to break it up so the videos aren't too long. All right, I'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace.